Hey guys, it's Blender Penguin. Sorry it's uh, been a while, but I've been really busy with uh, homework and school and college and yeah. But uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, look down the sights of the gun and also how to do a um, scope zoom, like on a sniper rifle. So uh, what I have here is a sniper and uh, the texture needs work, so it doesn't really matter for the tutorial. Um, first you're going to want to make a new scene, oh, I didn't delete this, but uh, uh, you're going to make one of these. Um, it's pretty basic, I guess I can go through it. Uh, go to your camera. Oh, you probably don't have a camera, you can just add camera when you're in object mode. <laughs> I already have my object too. Um, so you're going to add a circle. I'm going to delete this. Um, if you press shift and C, it'll center the cursor in the middle. And you want that because you want your sight to be accurate. Now I'll add my circle. Now it's centered. I'm going to extrude edges. And not going to move it, scale it so I get something like that. Uh, to fix these holes, select them all and do control N, recalculate normals. So alright, we got that. And shift D to make another one, shrink it again, just whatever you want your crosshair to look like. And now add a plane, scale it, shift D, rotate it. So now we got a little crosshair. Um, we're going to select just the outside. We don't want any of uh, Just the outer edge of the circle. And then press extrude, region, and scale it so that it fills up uh, the whole screen. I'm going to have to recalculate the normals again. That's all filled up. And then maybe extrude it a little bit just to make it three dimensional. And then make it black. And you want it shadeless because you don't want this to be reflective at all. Um, that might be too thick, but I'll see what happens. Um, and this scene is called Scope. You want to name it that. So first, you should have uh, your gun parented to your camera. That's how most FPSs are. Uh, I don't have the clip in the uh, reload thing uh, parented. Uh, this gun's going to be in my Decayed Salvation game after I fix the texture. <laughs> but uh, go to your gun, press I, location, to add a keyframe on location. Then we're gonna go try 10. Oh my. <sighs> I was building it to see how it would work. And uh, <laughs> so my camera still has its animation on it. Let me get rid of that. Sorry. Not sure where it sticks it. There we go. Okay. So now nothing happens. <laughs> so frame 10. We're going to move the gun so that it is looking in the middle of the scope. there and put it pretty much inside it <laughs> and center it the best you can eye location so now when you play this we get this action so we don't want it going in through the side like this so I'm gonna add another keyframe here There, that way it looks much better. Alright, so now we're going to go to the camera. Um, object. Go to frame 9. Oh, let's do frame 7. Pretty much right when it goes into the scope. 
editing, sorry, and press I lens. So now it'll have a keyframe on the lens. Go forward a frame. And right here it says lens. This pretty much uh, shows you how much it zooms in. If you look over here, it's in more now. So I think the yeah most is 250. So now you can't even see the scope at all. And you see the camera grew. So we'll do that. I lens. So now it's just one, one frame. It'll jump. So there we go. And um, that's all the IPOs we use, so let's go do some logic. Go to the gun, add, 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 Ooh, add. I'm gonna do keyboard, spacebar. You can use like the right mouse button, whatever you want for your game. Connect the ball to the Cheerio, ball to the Cheerio. Uh, IPO, oh come on, IPO, one through 10. And this won't work because <laughs> now it just stays and it loops. Now uh, this has some preference in it. If you want it uh, to just push the button, push it, push it again, then uh, keep it on ping pong. If you want it to be holding down, press flipper. So now you hold down and when you release, it comes back out. So whatever your preference is. I like ping pong. And we're gonna name this uh, scope, frame property. Add a property, change it to integer. And scope, we will use this later. All right, now we need to make the camera also zoom in. So shift and right click the camera. Add IPO one through 10. And also ping pong or flipper. <laughs> Connect ball to the Cheerio. All right, so now if we press spacebar, it scopes in. I don't really have anything there, so you can't tell what I am doing. Um, let me put a little something out here. All right, put a monkey out here. So you have this monkey, and you want to snipe its face off, so now it'll zoom in. I don't have any controls on uh, on it yet, so that's looking pretty good. But now we need the crosshairs. Let me flip the monkey around. Alright, so now it scopes in. Spacebar, spacebar. <laughs> so, go back to here. Um, I like to do my overlays in the camera, but, oh, I made the property on the gun, so we're going to have to stay with the gun. So go to scene and add overlay scene, add the scope scene. This pretty much just sticks with the camera sees in the other scene on top of this scene. So now if we press it, we get that, but that doesn't look right and it doesn't go away. So get rid of that data wire. Go add, 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 add. Not link, add. <laughs> First one, we're going to do property scope equal 10. So we're saying when the, when it's on frame 10, then put the scope thing on. So it won't do it until we enter the um, scope. But that was early, so I'm going to change it to 7. Right as soon as you pass through the lens, you want the crosshair to show up. 6. So that looks better. And then we need it to go away after we press spacebar. So change this to property scope, interval, or not equal would actually work better. No, we need interval. Between 1 and 5, 
ball to Cheerio. Add Cheerio to ball. Cheerio to ball. Scene. Remove scene. Scope. So let's try this out. Bring my thing down. So now we see the monkey, press spacebar. Alright, so that works. And we need to zoom this out. It doesn't stay, need to fix that. Hmm. Oh, we need one to ten here. One to five. You know, I think we're just gonna have to keep this on ten. Oh, add background. This needs to be removed. That's what I messed up. Okay. There we go. Put this back on five. Sorry. It's been a while. <laughs> Alright. And then it goes away. I'm going to change this to six. So that is, uh, that's it. <laughs> um, make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, oh, one more thing. Don't add me as a friend because I just don't do that. <laughs> I mean, if your channel is interesting, I'll subscribe to you. But uh, I'm not going to subscribe back just because you subscribe to me. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. So I hope you like this video and uh, have fun killing monkeys.